Um, hello, everyone. This is our first review. We picked the film Midsummer because it was one of the most talked about films of last year. Tracy and I both watched this film, and I think we have two very different perspectives on it. Um, so, Tracy, why don't you go ahead and talk about what you thought of the film? Sure, Alana Valentine. I will. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. Um, so I hated the movie. I thought it was racist and also sexist. Well, why did you think it was racist? What was the? I, I'm just interested to what was sure. the? Sure. So it was the. They had hoods and capes at the end, and they mm. were burning people. They're burning the men. You know, thought were bad men, and it just seemed like it was a lynching. Oh. And a celebration of a lynching. That's why I was like, what is this? Can I swear? Yeah, you know, sure. <laughs> yeah, go, let's go for it. <laughs> Let her rip. Right? Like, what is this shit? And I said, wow. Do you get what I'm saying, though? Yeah, at the end. So you think, that, did you think that was like the intent of the filmmaker? Or do you think it was just like, I don't know, Can ignorant? Can I tell you? Mm -hmm. I was so disturbed. I said, I can't imagine that someone would just be so... What is the word I'm looking for? Forward and be so racist and just put it out there. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's people. I probably, I think that the filmmaker probably did not think about the consequences of those images or mm -hmm. what people might think. You know, what did you think about the film? I thought it was really weird, um, okay. <laughs> but I didn't hate it. I thought it was really, I could see why, um, why people thought that it was interesting and why some people liked it because it's very provocative and it's very new and the script's really kind of never been done like it's kind of a twist uh, i kept waiting for the show to, to the, for the movie to begin did that happen to you <laughs> um so you're not you're not a build-up kind of kind of film no i'm like i want it now <laughs> When is it going to happen? Where's the Where's it happening? I'm, I thought that something would happen when she went on the trip. You know, immediately. I thought. Mm -hmm. You know, I just kept. I don't know. I guess that's why they call it suspense, right, Alana? Yes, it was very suspenseful. I will say. Um, yes. So you also said you didn't like it because it was sexist. Um, can you... Yes. I mean, why do they have to make the men out to be such bad people? Men are not all not all men are bad like that. I mean, come on. The boyfriend was really okay. He was a jerk at times, but <laughs> he was trying to take care of her in his own way. You know, she mm -hmm. was very codependent. What very did you think? codependent. Um, yeah. I really like Florence Pugh. Mm -hmm. um who's the actress the main actress she did amazing yes she was great i would think she's very watchable and yes. i really enjoyed it because of her perf i guess i i i did like her performance so i'm more forgiving mm -hmm. about sort of the story <laughs> the film um right. um i saw her in one of my favorite films of last year which was little women I loved oh. her in that, and I loved that movie, and so I I watched this film, remembering mm -hmm. how much I liked her in that one. Uh, so I, Jack Raynor got killed in that in, in in our little flick. Poor thing, he didn't deserve to die. Yes, it was. It's not a movie. Midsummer is not a movie that you want to watch if you want like warm and fuzzy feelings. Or happy happy end. <laughs> or happy endings, <laughs> or any <laughs> happiness at all. Um, so who? Well is, said. Yes. Who was? Do you think? If you had to, if you had to pick, if you thought, like. Oh, and by the way, wasn't it really creepy? <laughs> how um, I think his name is Bjorn Anderson. How he kept. He, he was the Swedish guy, right? Uh, that, I think that dude. So. Yeah. How he kept. Telling Florence, um, it's gonna be okay, and like, <laughs> wait, and talking about death, like how insensitive. It was how insensitive. That was like, wasn't it creepy? It was. I think that was the point. Um, uh -oh. that it was creepy. It was a creepy movie. She they was. definitely slam dunk, like, won it creepy. on the creepiness. Um, oh, yes. If that was what they were going for, they hundred percent nailed it. Um, I agree. I. Yes, he, I thought it was very well acted. Like, overall, I thought... I thought the acting was good. I thought the storyline was poor, and, there, you know, there was no hook. 
Yes, it was a lot of build up for yes. nothing. Yes, I a racist ending. <laughs> a racist <Sorry>. ending. <laughs> you know what, Tracy? You should you should, you know those little quotes that they have on yes. uh, on movie posters, like a lot of build up yes, for racist yeah. ending. <laughs> Tracy Brown. <laughs> yeah, so. Tracy Brown. There you go. Yes. <laughs> um, so I thought it was very well acted. I did think it was a little long, or at least it felt long. Because it was boring, Alana. It was a little boring. A little boring. A little and then it boring. wasn't boring at all. So that's the thing exactly. is, it, it was very boring for a long time. And you're like, all right, you know, this girl needs to get herself together. Just like. Right. <laughs> I wanted to take her home and smack her because <laughs> she was so codependent. She was very codependent. A little dumb. I, but I always think that in horror movies, like, I, I, I always, I guess this is a horror movie, but I always think that in movies, I'm oh, like, I'm, go ahead, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. Um, I just think, like, I would never make these decisions, don't make these decisions, so then they make those decisions, and it's like, oh, man. It's like, why would you do that? Yes. Do you think that they portrayed her as a dumb girl? I think they portrayed her as a very, I don't know if she was dumb so much as emotionally exhausting as a person and just very you know on the edge I guess that's kind of what I got from it right uh, I would agree with you she made I would say dumb decisions in terms of like who her friends are who she's gonna believe Dating that guy yeah exactly <laughs> I just think that that whole was like hmm so, yeah, not so good. Yeah. Do you think there'll be a sequel? I think that people want a sequel to it. Um, okay. I, I heard a lot. So I read about this movie last year a lot. And it seems like the general tenor is like, it's very, for some reason, like a lot of feminists picked up on it. Um, as mm-hmm. like a very feminist film, I didn't think it was terribly feminist. I thought it was fem- no, me neither. What was so fe- what was so feminist about it? Was it the fact that they were having that su- the fairy dance? I guess I think <laughs> in the yeah, I didn't think it was super uh, uh, feminist at all. Except that I mean, it had a lot of it had you know some nudity, nudity in it. Like it was very, I guess like. I don't know. There was like the maypole scene, which I guess, but and maybe because she was a queen, maybe that's why they call it feminist. But just because you call somebody queen doesn't mean that she's got clout, you know? Yeah. That, 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 that didn't sound right though. What I just said. But <laughs> what I meant to say was, just because somebody's a queen, right, and you put her in the place of a queen, doesn't necessarily mean that she holds those powers. I felt that like she was being manipulated in the movie and still trapped. Yeah, I, no. I agree. I just thought it was, I just, I just thought that the ending, I don't know. She just seemed really. Uh, Out of it. She didn't seem happy. I wanted her to be happy. Be something, woman. Well, I she mean, did choose to sacrifice, you know, her boy. Love? Yes. Oh, uh, that scene. Oh, <laughs> oh, my word. That scene was. Hmm, Very violent. Heavy. Yeah, it was weird, right? When they're like, I can feel it. She says, I can feel it. The sexual yeah. scene. It was, the yes. I, I, thought, I thought I meant the one where he's being sacrificed at oh, the oh, end. Oh, okay. no, oh the oh, sexual okay. scene is also wildly weird. Um, it's <laughs> okay. the most uncomfortable I've ever been watching. <laughs> I know. I was like, what the heck? Why? Okay. It's just a lot of drugs. I'm like, is this what happens? This, is what this, this movie should be the... Like, dare, don't do drugs. That's true. It's like, if you take drugs, you will sacrifice your boyfriend during a cult. You will do it. And yourself. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's true. And yeah. why do they have to kill the other people, though? I think it was part of, like, this weird little cult. Like, I got my impression was that... Uh, you, these... Oh, that's right. They had to have, kill, like, ten people, they said. Yeah, they had to kill, I think, yeah, I think it's nine people. 
and she has to choose because she's the May Queen, and she's like, you right. could have this stranger or you could kill your boyfriend. boyfriend. And she's like, oh, I guess it's my boyfriend. <laughs> like, Lady, why? I'm like, oh, wow. I couldn't believe it. I guess she didn't forgive him. I guess not. <laughs> I mean, a lot of us, not that I propone violence, but I'm sure a lot of us have felt like her, you know, that kind of anger. I know, um, but he cheated on you and you're going to disembowel him and did. light him on fire. Fire. It's just well, very... Have no fury, girl. I guess. And... Uh, it was just very i guess that's that maybe it's that maybe that's what the feminist angle is so, is if yes. you cheat on us we will burn you in a bear we will burn you <laughs> in the bear in a bear suit oh guess if we have to choose between sacrificing a stranger and sacrificing and you sacrificing you i'll do you first babe Love i me. know i oh don't my know gosh. So, did you watch Penny Dreadful? I did. I did. I thought that the, that is our next week um, oh, is it? review. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. Okay, okay. Um, but yes, I did. It was good. I like it. It's okay. my new show. Ooh. It's my is new it show. Is it your new show? It is. Really? You liked it that much? Well, I'm running out of shows. It's it's not like Girl, my favorite show of all time. Let me give you a list. Let me give you a list. Let me give you a list. Ready? Let's have a list of. Should <laughs> okay. we have a, like a list of shows to watch? Oh, absolutely. Like yes, yes, okay. yes. Let's do it. <laughs> so you know that the new Ozark is out, right? Yes. Yeah, saw all of that. Watched all of Ozark. You saw Ozark. season three. Yes, the one uh, that's the oh new one on uh, on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My okay, dad's so a big Ozark then- guy. And what about Billions? Are you up to date with Billions? Or no, I've like never billions? seen Billions. Is it good? You have to. Oh, it's really good. Twists <laughs> and turns. It's really good. Oh, yes. And then there's another one that's funny um, called Black Monday. Have hmm. you seen that one? I have not seen that one either. It's a classic uh, sort of like Wall Street. It's. I won't tell you too much. Just we'll put it on our list uh, to review. But it's really it's a really cool series. That you'd enjoy. It has that Quentin Tarantino feel to it, style. And lots of cocaine. <laughs> well, you need it. You need a lot of cocaine. I can't enjoy a film unless they're doing <laughs> tremendous amounts of cocaine. <laughs> I can't. It's necessary. Never would think. I mean, that, it was in the film, Milana. In the, in the film. Yeah. Like, what the heck? <laughs> anyway. I've just been so, watching, like, I watched six seasons of Criminal Minds. <laughs> oh, Criminal Minds is good. I like it's uh, now I can predict the ending though. Like that's how if you watch that's how, six seasons of Criminal Minds in a month, you start to be know. able to predict the ending. <laughs> this is the storyline. Exactly. Now just somebody has to get die. Exactly. Somebody has to die. Mm-hmm. I'm like, ooh, nope. They have to kill one person beginning, they kill the first victim, and then they have the that's third right. one and they save it. That every single time. That's the same same story. That's hilarious. Yep. I'm like, oh he's a true psych you know, I'm sorry to become a psychologist. I'm like, oh You're this so isn't gonna funny. go. <laughs> this is bad. Um all right. And then my show, so I've been watching that. I watched all of Supernatural. I'm doing that. Oh, I love Supernatural. Supernatural. I uh-huh. love Supernatural. Um, Supernatural is good. The one guy in it is so cute. I love him. I'll watch Supernatural. Him forever. Forever. Yeah, he plays so Dean. Cute. I like that one. Yeah, I don't actually know. Out of all of, what's his name? Do you know his name? <sighs> no. See, this is going to be, now it's going to be on the internet. Everybody's like, oh my God. It's so and so. Do you I, know his name? I know. Um, no. But well, what is his name so we can give him a shout out? Maybe he's like single and maybe you can say hi. <laughs> he's old, Tracy. He's too oh. old. He's old, hot, That's okay. old, hot. Love yeah. is like, he's <laughs> old, hot. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing for men who are older, so, you know. <laughs> well, that's I think good. he's about 20 years older than I am, so maybe that's a little oh. much. Um, be much for you yeah well yes. because the show starts when he was a, probably about my age and it's been going for oh, like 20 wow. years so the front door. i know so he's young in it at the beginning and then he gets older as it goes on oh wow so that's amazing guy who plays dean shout out on that on <laughs> you've been my quarantine buddy uh, Aww, without see. even knowing. I know. Um, so that's what the basically I've been watching like all of Criminal Minds. I watched Tiger King. 
which was crazy. Oh, I haven't seen that. What is that about? It's a documentary on Netflix. It's wild. Absolutely wild. Oh. Wild. It's uh, like a guy who runs a tiger sanctuary and he's oh, in a wow. competition with another lady and there's drug uh, cocaine again is there's a true story cocaine yes again. it's a it's a it's a documentary it is Shut there's the murder What's there's it tiger king the tiger king tiger king wow where is it set it's in florida I think. No, how, how would I guess? How did I not guess? Of course, that's in Florida. I think. In the 80s, it's, right? Or it's not, it feels like it's from Florida. No, it's in the 80s. It's not no. 80s. He has an 80s haircut, but he's, uh, it's <laughs> from modern day. It's like maybe five oh. years ago, and they just released oh, it. Oh, wow. You know, it's crazy. Tracy, you have to watch You'd like it. I I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. What's it called again? The Tiger King. The Tiger King. Mm-hmm. It's, just, it's a documentary. Okay. Yeah. And it's like a series. You have to let me know. All right. So okay, we talked you know. about our shows. We talked about how insane Midsummer was. And we will yes. talk about Petty Dreadful in detail next week. Next week. Yes, All darling. Right. I know. We'd like to tell our viewers, if you'd like us to review a movie, just simply, you know, list it in the comments. Right, Alana? Absolutely. And we will take your comments into consideration. Thank you so much. Oh, and and if you have any questions, (laughs) ask those too. Bye.